much bad I have good news And it never will change God loves me Every day the same Clap one, two, three Stomp your this big cardboard box and I knew right away I could turn it into something great like an airplane I use scissors tape and markers there's so many places I want to fly to in my airplane do you want to fly with me okay but first I need my flying goggles now I need my seatbelt Okay, let's fly. Let's fly to somewhere, like a big city, and see some tall buildings. Let's fly to the country to see some beautiful trees. Let's fly to the beach and see the big blue ocean. With this airplane, I can pretend to fly anywhere. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Planning on flying somewhere, are you? Hi, Ollie. I made this awesome airplane, and now I'm deciding where I want to fly. Going to different places is fun. It's true. And wherever you go, someone is always with you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hi, 
friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I'm delivering the mail. And wow, look at these postcards. This one is from Canada. This one is from Venezuela. And this one is from Ireland. These postcards are from all around the world. That reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Jonah. One day, God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh to tell the people who live there to do what God says and love one another. But there was one problem. Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. So what do you think Jonah did? Jonah went the other way and got on a boat. Uh-oh. Do you think God was with Jonah even when he went the other way? Yes, God loved Jonah and was always with him. While Jonah was on the boat, there was a big storm. There was rain and wind and thunder and the boat was rocking. Can you rock like the boat? Whoa, whoa. Okay, great job. You can stop rocking now. The other people on the boat were so afraid, but Jonah was sleeping. Can you help wake Jonah up and say, wake up, Jonah, wake up, Jonah. When Jonah woke up, he saw the storm. He knew that if he got off the boat, the storm would stop. So Jonah told the people on the boat to put him in the water. So that's what they did. And the storm stopped. Do you think God was with Jonah in the water? Yes. God loved Jonah and was always with him. While Jonah was in the water, God sent a big fish. Can you make a fish face? <laughs> Great job. God sent the fish to swallow Jonah and keep him safe. Jonah was in the fish for three days and three nights. Can you count to three with me? One, two, three. Do you think God was with Jonah inside the belly of the fish? Yes. God loved Jonah and was always with him. While Jonah was inside the fish, he prayed to God. And then, guess what happened? God made the fish spit Jonah out onto dry land. Wow. Once again, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. This time, Jonah did what God said and he went to Nineveh. Do you think God was with Jonah when he went to Nineveh? Yes, God loved Jonah and was always with him in the boat, in the fish, and when he went to Nineveh. God loves you and God is always with you too. So tell me, is God with you at home? Yes. Is God with you at the playground? Yes. Is God with you at the store? Yes, that's right. Wherever you go, God is always with you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God is with you here, there, and everywhere, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God was with Jonah wherever he went. That means God will be with me wherever I go, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I want to go to so many places. And guess what? God will always be with me. See you next time. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you 
wherever you go. Joshua 1.9.